everyone in this very video we are going to be looking at properties of binary operations and here we see four properties the first is called the closure property which is what we are going to be focusing on in this very video the second is commutative the third associative and the fourth distributive okay so the um, the closure property an operation star on a non-empty set A has a closure property if A if when A is an element of A and B is an element of A then A star B is also an element of A okay what that means is that if you have a set that contains A B let's say you have a set A that contains A B and you operate you can see that a from this um we can see that a small letter a is an element of a and b is also an element of a now if you operate a star b okay it must also be an element of a it must also be an element of a okay that's that is a closure property that means when you operate two different element your answer is also going to be an element of that set now i want to quickly um, do an example here um, if i have a set let's say i have a set um, two three four five and it is defined under this operation let's say that x um, star y must be equal to x okay now x star y must be equal to x now meaning that if i want to operate any of these two let's say two star three according to this two star three will be equal to two because x star y is equal to x if i say four star five it is equal to five you can see that each all of them is an element if i call this set p you can see that this is an element of p this is also an element of p what if i say five star five it is still going to give me five even if I say 5 star 2, it's still going to give me 5. Because according to this definition, x star s is x. But my point is that all the answers we are getting here are all elements of the set P. They are all elements of the set P. Meaning that this particular binary operation is closed under this set. Now, I have some things here. First of all, <clears throat> you know... Uh, we have several operations in mathematics but here i quickly wrote for just four operations the first one is addition now binary operation is always closed under addition i mean addition sorry is always closed under real numbers natural numbers rational numbers and integers um, i may have to do a little explanation of what these numbers mean now, N here stands for natural numbers. Natural numbers are counting numbers. That means the numbers you count from 1, 2, 3, um, 4, like that. Or you can call them positive whole numbers. So from 1, 2, 3, 4. So natural numbers are whole numbers. Counting numbers from 1 upwards. Then we have what we call integers. Your Z here represents integers. What are integers? Integers are numbers that are positive or negative whole numbers are positive or negative whole numbers that means it can be positive you can have negative minus one minus two minus three minus four it can also be positive plus one plus two plus three plus four okay now from what we see here it's it is clear that natural numbers is the same thing as positive integers so positive integers are actually natural numbers so that is what integers are it's important if you want if you must do well in these um, properties you must understand the numbers now the q here represents rational numbers rational 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 q represents rational numbers and what are rational numbers numbers that are written in the form a over b any number you can write in the form a over b is a rational number a good example is one over two a good example is 22 over 7. A good example is 3 over 2. And another good news is that all whole numbers are rational numbers too. So 4 is a rational number. Why? Because we can write it as 4 over 1. 10 is a rational number. Why? Because we can write it as 10 over 1. Okay? So that is it for rational numbers. Then we also have what we call irrational numbers. We represent it with Q complements. 
What are irrational numbers? Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written in the form A over B. You can write them this way. An example of irrational numbers, you have swords. Swords is an irrational number, okay? And um, swords, you cannot write it as A over B. Example of sword, row 2, row 3, cannot be represented this way. Another example of irrational number are logarithms, you know? When I have log 2, I have log 3, you know, they are irrational numbers. You can represent them in the form A over B. Another good example is um, pi. Pi is also an irrational number. Pi um, is not exactly 22 over 7. Pi is 3.14 and keeps going. That's how you know an irrational number. The fraction never ends, so cannot be represented as A over B. Okay, so those are the types of numbers. Now, coming here, we say that and real numbers, finally, is the sum of rational numbers plus irrational numbers. So the combination, let me rewrite that here, Q union, Q complement. So the combination of um, rational numbers and irrational numbers is what we call real numbers. So real numbers combines both. Okay, now, um, so real numbers, what that means, the real number is any number you can think about. Positive, negative, rational, irrational, whole number, fraction, decimal, any number you can think about. All these numbers we have listed so far are all elements of real numbers okay so with that you can see that if you have a set of real numbers the set will be the operation all operations are closed under the set of real numbers all if you notice here we have r here we have r here we have r here we have r here okay now for um, natural numbers for addition addition is only Closed for real R numbers, natural numbers, rational numbers, and integers. Almost for all numbers, but not closed for irrational numbers. Now, what do we mean here? Now, this means that if I have um, 5, for example, 5 is a natural number, and I have 10, and 10 is also a natural number. Now, if I add 5 plus 10, it's going to give me 15. 15 is also a rational number. So, meaning that if I pick two rational numbers and add them up, my answer is also going to give me a, a natural number. That's what it means to be closed. That's the same thing with um, rational numbers. If I add two rational numbers, my answer is also going to be rational numbers. That's the same thing with integers. Okay? So, exactly what we have for addition is the same thing we have for... You, uh, multiplication multiplication is closed under real numbers natural numbers integers and rational numbers we see an example let's say 100 you notice 100 is an example is an element of integer let's say 5 5 is also an element of integer now if i multiply 5 times 100 it's going to give me 500 which is also an element of integer so it is closed now, the next is subtraction, okay? If you notice here, subtraction is only closed under real numbers, rational numbers, and integer. But subtraction is not closed for natural numbers. Why do we say so? If 2, for example, is an element of a natural number, and 10 is also an element of a natural number, if I have 2 minus 10, I'm going to get minus 8, which is not an element of a rational number, you see? So, not closed. For the condition to be closed is that when you operate two different values, your answer is also going to be a member of that set. Now, the same thing here with division, okay? Division is only closed for real numbers and rational numbers. It is not closed for integers. Why is it not closed for integers? If I have two, for example, being an element of an integer, and I have, um, let me say, 10 being an element of an integer, and I want to divide 2 divided by 10, I'm going to get 1 over 5, which is not an integer. 1 over 5 is not an integer. Okay, so that means division is not closed for integers. Division is not closed for natural numbers, but it is closed for real numbers. Remember, all are closed for real numbers, and it is also closed for Q. So whenever a question is given to you, you have to be sure which numbers you are dealing with. Are you dealing with real numbers? Are you dealing with natural numbers? Are you dealing with integers? Are you dealing with 
it is. Let's say we are given that um, x and y, uh, for example, now are element of real numbers. Watch this, please. And we have that the binary operation now between x and y is x star y is equal to x plus y minus x y. Let's assume we have something like this. And I'm, I want to ask, if is this closed? Now, I don't even need to think twice to know if this particular operation is closed. Why? Because x, y is an element of real numbers. Real numbers encompass all the type of numbers. So, I don't even have to look at the question. I know that this is closed. You know, whether it is positive, negative, subtraction, division, exponent, whatever it is you can think about, it will always be closed as long as you are dealing with real numbers. But if I'm given that x, y is an element of natural numbers, now there will be a problem. The problem here is because of this negative sign. Knowing that there is a possibility of substituting a value for x and y that will give us a negative number. And negative numbers are not part of natural numbers. If, um, for example, let's say that x and y is 2 and 3. So we have 2 star 3. Your x is 2, your y is 3, okay, we have minus 2 times 3. You are going to have 2 plus 3 is 5, then minus 6, all together will give us minus 1, which is not an element, you see, which is not an element of the natural number, of a natural number. So, this operation will not be closed if you are dealing with natural number, but the operation will be closed if you are dealing with real numbers. I want to believe that um, I have made myself clear here. Now, let's see an example here. It says, consider the set, we have 1, 2, 3, with usual addition operation. Is the set closed under addition? That is the question. Is the set closed under addition? Your guess is as mine. I don't have to look at it twice. The answer is no. The set is not closed. Now, why do we say that? How do we explain that? Um, first of all, the set contains just elements 1, 2, 3, and we are to add. If I add 1 plus 3, it's going to give me 4. 4 is not an element of this set. Can you see that? If I add 2 plus 2, it's going to give me 4. 4 is not an element of the set. If I add 3 plus 2, it's going to give me 5. 5 is not an element of the set. So, it is not closed. It is not closed. The operation is not closed. Okay, look at this. Very interesting. It says, given that x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, a, um, you know, we such that x star y is equal to x plus y minus x y is the binary structure closed is the binary structure closed um, we can use trial and error but first of all there's something I wanted to notice all the numbers here are all natural numbers you know and I'm um, coming here now there is negative that means there's a possibility of combining numbers here that would make this operation to be minus. Let's see if what I said is true. Let's use 3 star 4. If we have 3 star 4, okay, it's going to give us 3 plus 4 minus 3 times 4. Now 3 plus 4 here is 7, minus 3 times 4 here is 12, okay? So that will give us minus 5, which is not an element of x. So already, this shows that that particular operation is not closed under the structure. Okay, so we look at this question here. It says, construct a multiplication table for modulo 4. Okay, and um, is the operation closed as the question? Now, whenever you're constructing to modulo 4, well, I know it is closed, but let's see. Whenever we are constructing to modulo 4, um, we, we know that whenever a number is more than 4, you divide and write the remainder. Modulo means cycle, you know, cycle of numbers. Now, if we come here for this box here, 0 times 0 is 0. So we write 0. Here, one times um, 0 times 1 is 0. Here, 0 times 2 is 0. Here, 0 times 3 is 0, you know. Here, 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1, I'm starting with this, I'm taking this as my first, taking this as my second, so 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3, you see? So 2 times 0 is um, 0, 
uh, now before I continue, how do I know I have to write 0, 1, 2, 3? It's because when you're dealing with modulo 4, modulo 4 only contains, can only contain 0, 1, 2, 3. If I'm dealing with modulo 3, it can only contain 0, 1, 2. If I'm dealing with modulo 5, it can only contain 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So, um, 2 times 1 here is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. I can write 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 0. So, the remainder is what I write here, 0. Three times 2 times 3 is 6. 6 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 2. So, I write the remainder 2 here. Um, zero th 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. I can't write 6. So, I write the remainder 2. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 divided by 4 is 2 remainder 1. You see? So, have you noticed here that actually the set, elements of the set in modulo 4, like I explained earlier, is 0, 1, 2, 3. Have you noticed that the whole answer we got here is still within the set? It's an element of the set. So it means that this particular operation is closed here under modulo 4 is closed. Thank you very much. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you get notifications of our classes. Have a nice day.